Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So today we're going to do another problem um, to try to solve using the C programming language. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is here. Let me uh, maximize this a little bit more so you guys can see. All right. So basically, the problem goes like this. Given an array of integers, we want to return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. And maybe I will put this on the next line so we can see it all at once. All right, now let me give you an example. Okay, so we're given the number array, uh, nums equal maybe two and then seven and then 11 and 15. All right, and our target equals nine. So the indices that it should return will be, it should return indices uh, zero and one. All right, now you say, well, why? Well, that's because nums, so remember nums is the array, so nums at position 0 is equal to 2, and nums at position 1 is equal to 7, and that means that uh, nums at position 0 plus nums at position 1 is equal to 2 plus 7, which equals 9, and 9 is our target. All right, so pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is include our library. So that's going to be stdio.h. All right, and then I'm going to create our main function. And let's see, we're going to return 0 here. Now let's actually create the function um, that will give us these indices. So one thing to notice is that we're re returning an array. So I am going to make sure uh, we're, we're returning an integer array. So we're going to need to return an int and uh, an int pointer here. And I'm going to call it to sum. So this function right now should return an, ar an array of integers. All right, we're going to need to take in the array that we want to um, solve. So it's going to be an integer array, and it's going to call it R. All right, then we need to take in the size of the array. So that's just going to be another integer value. And then we need to know our integer target value. So uh, in this case, the parameters would be this whole array here would be um, in this parameter. Then the size of the array, which would be one, two, three, four. So four would go here. And then the target, which is nine. So nine would go here. All right, so let's go ahead and try creating this function. Or not creating it, but actually implementing it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a um, integer array. I'm going to call it indexes, or maybe indices. So we're going to call it indices. And it's going to be of size 2 because we're only going to return two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. All right, so that's why I'm just going to put 2 there. And for now, we're going to return indices. All right. Now there's some other variables I'm going to add in here, um, not really necessary here, which will be num1. I'm going to set it equal to negative 1. And I am going to also add another integer variable. We're going to call it num2. I'm going to set it equal to negative 1 as well. So this is going to be our basically the two numbers that we want. Um, I don't really need this extra two variables. I could just use indices, but uh, I think it 
it helps us to visualize what's going on a little bit better using these variables. All right, next up, we're going to need uh, two variables to loop through. Um, so these will be our variables that we're going to use for the indexes, i and j. And then, of course, we need to loop through the array. So let's create our for loop. For i equals 0, i is going to run while it's less than the size of the array. So i++. plus plus. And then within there, we're going to have another loop. So from j equals 0, and j is going to run while it's less than size j plus plus. So j is going to increment by one each time. All right, and now what we're going to do is we need to check um, that the index isn't the same. Because um, if it is, then we don't want to add those two numbers, right? We only want to add um, two, two different numbers. We don't want to add the same number and get a specific value. We only want to add two different numbers. So I'm going to put a check here. So we're going to check that the index positions at i and j are not the same. Because if they are the same, then we're looking at the same number. All right, so if it's not the same, that's good. And let me put here, checking the index isn't the same. Therefore, it's not the same number that we are going to add or we are adding. Okay, so now we need to actually do our check here. So we need to uh, check for the two numbers that add up to the target. And we can do that by an if statement. So we say if the array at position i plus the array at position j equals equals the target, then we found our two uh, variables in the array that equal our target. And we need to record their indices. So num1 is going to equal i, and then num2 will equal j. So i and j right now are the indices where our, um, our two numbers add up to our target. Okay. All right, so now since we're going to be returning, since we're going to be returning indices here, I need to add num1 and num2 to our array, which is called indices. So indices at position 0 is going to equal num1, and indices at position 1 is going to equal num2. All right, and something I didn't mention before, uh, you guys may have wondered why I added negative one values here. Well, it's just in case we never find a target, um, then it's just going to give us the negative one, negative one uh, for the indices. All right, so now let's go ahead and test this function. So I'm gonna create a integer array it's going to be of size 4. All right, and I am going to use the variables that we have uh, in our example, uh, not the variables, the elements here in our example. Copy and paste it. All right, and let's see. Then we're going to want our indice array. I'm just going to call it index. Um, so it's going to be our index array. And this is what our function will return. So I'm going to copy our function. All right. And what goes here is the variable array. So I'm just going to replace that with array. Uh, the size is 4. And our target will be the number 9. OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to print the two indices. Uh, percent D and percent D backslash in uh, 
Okay, so we want index at position zero, and we want index at position one. All right. Okay, so let's give this a run. And hopefully we don't get any errors. Ah, we did. Okay, so let's see here. Um, undefined references to print. Uh, okay, I set print instead of print F. So that's one issue. So let's run this again. All right, perfect. So uh, looks like, yep, we get indices one and indices zero, just like we want it from our example, which was up here. We got uh, zero and one. So perfect. It looks like it's working properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I put this code up on my GitHub and I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can get it and play with it yourselves and do some testing. Um, I've only tried it with this one example, but I thought it was a pretty cool problem and I thought I'd put it up here and try to solve it. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave any likes, questions, comments. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be putting up more videos on programming, so, you know, stay tuned, and I'll see you all in the next video.